Hi guys, Wargamer Dad here. Um, just doing a quick review because where I'm getting so many um, more Marines with Imperium, I need to convert them over to making them look more Space wolf -y. So I just went out and got myself both the um, current Space Wolf conversion packs. We've got the Space Wolf upgrades and the Space Wolf Primaris upgrades, both of which um, are usable on the Primaris apart from, I think, one thing. So we're going to have a look through them and see see what is going to be usable to me and anybody else who's um, wolfing up the um, the Imperium guys. I've got this, the worst pair of scissors ever. I'm going to take the top off. Bringing things everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not afraid to stop and start. Right now, this is the Space Wolf upgrades rather than the Primaris upgrades. <laughs> However, it is worth noting this has almost everything you need if you wanted to, for example, try and make Ragnar Blackmane, the new model. You've got the big long double edged sword, um, you've got the hair with some black flowing locks, and some cool, um, some cool shoulder pads all with the standard Space Wolf symbol on, which is the one that Blackmane uses. So these are all very good. Uh, the casts are obviously amazing. Um, copyright, the copyright on this is 2014. So it's about seven years old now. You got a backpack, which you could use. You got an ax on a hand, which might look a little small compared to some of the other stuff, but still really big. So. If you wanted, for example, to use it on a sergeant or a lieutenant, that's going to work perfectly. You've got several of these double-sided Space Wolf symbols. Um, <coughs> um, you've got two heads. You've got the wolf head, which is perfect if you're trying to do a, a, a wolf priest or maybe even a rune priest. And you've got the not-quite-Ragnar head which is pretty much decent for any space marine. And if you look at the new Ragnar Blackmane model, you could certainly use it to mock up something Ragnar Blackmane-ish. Uh, you've got the double-edged sword, which is, you know, it's a standard, again, Space Wolf sword. Um, well, slightly not standard. But it is also very similar to the sword that Ragnar Blackmane holds. Um, so that's pretty cool. The only thing I don't think you could use... Um, <coughs> Have a look yeah the only thing you couldn't really use because the scale is off is the um, wolf pelt which is um, <coughs> attached to the back of um, <coughs> a standard or first sons or whatever it is they're calling it now a uh, space marine sized back so that that wouldn't fit so if I just quickly clip this off with a pair of scissors because nothing I can do with it so if I pop this off for nine pound, which isn't terrible, you get all that which you can use on Primaris, and you get that which you can't. That's not that's not bad. Um, that's still very efficient, and you get a lot of cool stuff which works very well as you can see it's got some pictures there it shows it all working with your standard old school marine and if you look at the space wolf up old school means it's still very good you've got a lot of shoulder pads here some of them are fairly you know, are more kind of basic shoulder pads for basic space for your <coughs> grey hunters or your um, intercessors <laughs> depending on which way you're going and you've got some here with extra stuff on it which will work for most of your uh, your units. Um, if you're trying to use aggressors where they've just got the bit on the front or anybody in that Mark 10 Maximus armor, you might have to trim them a bit because the, uh, the blades may get in the way of the back of it. But all in all, really quite cool. So I'm going to start using that. Next, we've got the Primaris Space Wolf upgrades, which frankly is a lot of similar stuff I'm just gonna... 
<laughs> it keeps flinging off in the direction of the wife. That is purely accidental. I'm not attacking my wife with plastic. That happens later. I'm not going to <coughs> rip this open. Um, it's got a nice little colour coded bit telling you what bits are what and also giving you some advice on where about they go. Um, with the shoulder pads, it doesn't make a massive amount of difference, but it does make a difference um, because obviously the wolf's head would be, if you put the shoulder pads on the wrong side, the wolf's head will be facing the wrong way. Yeah, see that you've got the little green and blue gubbins there showing you it goes on this shoulder. If you put it on this shoulder, the wolf's going to be facing the wrong way and backwards. <laughs> Doesn't mean you can't do it, uh, particularly if you want one of these guys to to look cool, um, but that's up to you. And on, on this pack, this is actually a bit more generic. This pack's actually, this pack actually seems to be something to convert more up to um, officers and kind of higher standards, which makes sense because when this pack was released, the um, standard Space Marine Wolf pack was still a thing. So you had, in that, you had a bunch of Marines and you had more shoulder plates and armor plates and that, and then you had Marines so that you could convert other Marines across. So you didn't need standard, you needed Lieutenant style stuff and um, chapter mastery style stuff. <clears throat> this one is a bit more general, um, probably because it's meant to go everywhere. It only has five standard shoulder plates. It's got two, sh and it only has two shoulder plates for anybody wearing the, the bolt up armor that you find on the aggressors. Um, another one here which is a little bit cooler and another one here which is a little bit cooler, but I would imagine those guys are meant for more characterful guys. Doesn't mean you can't use them. <laughs> Every squad has a sergeant, etc. So in total you get five, um, six standard pads and three pads for the Maximus armor. Um, doesn't mean you have to use them for the Maximus armor, but that is in total nine pads, which um, is cool. But you get ten in a you get ten Space Marines in a unit, so um, I think the idea is you get five Space Marines for a unit and one Sergeant. Um, be, uh, being aware with these three pads, they're all going on the left shoulder, so you only need. And, and the same with the five pads, obviously. <coughs> you only need one pad per Marine, so that, that that's five Marines and a Sergeant, so that's six Marines. That's two Marines and a Sergeant. So that is, that's an entire squad of aggressors there for you, which is still not great for nine pound, but it's not bad either. Um, if you want more, the old Wolf Packs are still, well, the old wolf packs aren't technically available, but a lot of GW stores still have them around just because they know that they can sell them to Space Wolf players. Um, they're about £30, but you do get quite a lot in them. Um, more than enough to do just one squad. Yeah, more than enough to do one squad. Uh, I think you can probably stretch it to two squads, particularly if you start sort of furring up some of the, um, some of the armor, but... <sighs> that um, you'll have to see. Um, in addition to that, it, the um, Space Wolf pack comes with Terminator things, which aren't any good for your standard Primaris, but will fit over the shoulder pads of your Reavers <coughs> and your other lightly armored Scout Primaris units. So you can make, a, you may make your Sergeant look a bit more Space Wolfy and a bit more buff with a big shoulder pad. I've actually done it with one of mine. Um, we've also got some heads here, which is nice. We've got standard um, head, um, but with a little Space Wolf gem they have a little triangular gem uh, set in place um, we've got one uh, where are you? two um, space wolf bear heads um, you will find a lot of space wolf players that use a lot of bear heads simply because it's an easy way to make it identifiably a space wolf um, I don't know if space wolves take more injuries to the heads on in, in general for that Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. Maybe they don't. We've got 
a standard chase, a chainsaw, which we can see is a lot shorter than the double bladed chainsaw. But again, that's probably aimed at um, a unit commander and we have a blade that's in the process of being drawn from the scabbard. Um, that one will, if you put it on the guy, it goes that way. You can put it so it's across him, so he's pulling it across. Which, if you know anything about short blades and the best way to use them, is actually uh, not very efficient. Um, you want them on the same side you're drawing them so that you're not covering your body. It's, uh, yeah, by the time you're drawing a combat knife, that's a terrible thing to do, but looks cool on the model. <clears throat> and you could always just turn the wrist around. It would look a bit un. I can understand why they've done it across the body. If you did it this way, it looks unnatural and, you know, unpleasant. It doesn't look like the, your wrist should bend that way, but they actually do. Uh, what else? We've got a little contam uh, container there, which could have a grenade in it, could have ammo in it. Um, another little pouch there. Um, you've got a couple of little... Um, let's get that. Where? You got... I'm aware my camera's going light and dark. It's because I don't... That's why you don't film in the daytime. But I'm going to be busy tonight. But you've got a couple of the diamond um, kind of space wolfy doodads and a necklace um, which is very thin and as you can see is just bending as I touch it. So you've got to be careful with that. But it's enough to convert, let's have a look, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's enough to convert half a unit. Or if you want to do um, fur and green stuff over one of their pad, over the pad that has the... Um, the heraldry on it, you can do that, um, and that give you enough to convert a unit. As I say, if you want to convert en masse, I haven't done the math, but if you can find an old Space Wolf box set in one of your GWs, that may well give you a lot more. Um, but I'm not sure what the economy of that is. Um, you'd have to check, because they are about £30 these days, and um, this is about £9, so you've got to sort of balance it up. I got these because A, um, they've got some more new stuff on which I like, and B, £18 was a lot less than, I think it was 34 but was a lot less than they were charging, and I needed to sit down and do the maths. Um, if you live in Portsmouth, uh, they've got um, a Space Wolf box out back, and if you're quicker than me and go and grab it, you, well, good kudos to you. Um, yeah, but these are, these are the conversion things. That's what you get in them. They're £9 each. Um, and 20 Space Wolf players out there, happy hunting. And remember to like and subscribe.